at uh, 10,450 feet high. I felt it was a good time to give it a tour. First of all, everything is very inspiring, incredible landscape, you know. So, so the question is, okay, people go on vacation, people are skiing, experiencing different things, activities. Okay, hi, you know, how can I use that to be close to God? So that's really ultimate. I can be skiing all day or doing anything and and uh, it doesn't make me into a better person. It's just a waste of time. Because I'm here only for the world to come, to get ready. So how can I use this experience for the world to come? What can I create here? What can I build that's going to make my life in the world to come worth of that moment right i gotta acquire something here i gotta acquire something in my action in my adventures in my moments that enables me to transfer it into spiritual experience in the future so first of all there's two mitzvot that we can right away do, says the Rambam in Yilchos Yisodei Torah, the foundation of Torah, and they're part of the six constant mitzvot. Mitzvot you can do all the time. There are six of them, and the two of them is Ahava and Yira. How do you get love and awe of God? So you look, you look, you know, you look at this landscape, it's magnificent, magnificent, and then you you feel something inside of you. Like, wh why do I feel something? What, what made me feel that thing? God created something in us that when we experience something beautiful, something huge, something gigantic, it awakens certain emotion in us. Right? And, and so, so we can disregard it. It's like, wow, wow, it's amazing. And then continue. So we have to really feel that photograph those things not just doing a selfie but photograph those moments in time and make them eternal I remember them I I infuse them in myself I feel that at the moment I try to become one with the moment a type of meditation that a thought that becomes eternal so I do that and then my level of awareness of God's love and oh my feeling is there to access now anytime in this world and the world to come and the more I feel it the more I can use it in moments where I don't feel that do you remember that moment is my my rabbi speaks about that that it's from him that got the idea the you know a, a, a spiritual photograph so to speak all the experience we have in the past is to help us connect to the moments where we are low in emuna, in faith, low in happiness, low in love. God is crazy in love with you and he created a beautiful world. So when you're high, high, high there on top of the mountain, you feel it. But if you're busy with the everyday life thing, you forget about it. So we got to ingrained into our emotion, in, in our psyche, in our brain, the, this elevated emotion, uh, which come, brings us to speak about what Dr. Joe Dispenza speaks about, Sp it speaks about it in Kabbalah. How do you change your behavior? How do you change, you know, your synapses in your brain? The hardest thing is to change because we are, we are all addicted to patterns and habits of our animal self and whatever everyday life. So how do we change that? The way, the only way to change that is when we bring a powerful, intense emotion connected to a new thought, a powerful thought. And that's so powerful that we're able to, to change the habit, to transcend the routine, the, the teva, the nature. So that's, that's the key. So we take this moment here in beautiful Wyoming 
beautiful emotions and we grasp it and it stays. I, I photograph it into my mind and heart and I keep it in my photo album storage synapses, neurons, heart and brain, soul. And then whenever I feel, you know, I have a doubt, which is poor, I'm Malik, I have a doubt, like, God loves, really loves me. Is, is, is there really a God? So I go back to that amazing moment that I'm now at 10,450 feet and admire the creator and his creation. And you realize you are nothing. Makes, makes you feel in awe. Makes you feel next, close, closer to God. Even though he's everywhere, you feel it more. So, yeah, I wanted to share that with you. It's nothing extraordinary, but it's those little things that can make a difference in our lives. So, love you all. Take spiritual photographs, emotional, elevated emotional photographs, and use it to counteract your habit. I forgot to mention that this is how trauma works. Trauma is an intense emotion that stays in us. And because it's an intense emotion, the way, the best way to heal traumas or, or, you know, pain and hurt and anger that really sticks in us, we have to counteract it with a powerful, intense, positive emotion that, that will completely erase the emotional trauma and replace it with a new, new picture. So, wish you all an amazing week, ready for Purim. And uh, may you all feel at least some of the love and awe that, that I'm experiencing here. Nothing like it. All right. Awesome day and week.